election 2011 coverage on Manx Radio. Well, today in the chair, David John Quirk, who's 58. I'm right in saying that? Good. Thank Educated you. in the island. I have to, sometimes the information is a little out of date, so that's why I query that occasionally. I want to get it right. Educated in the island, a plumbing and heating engineer, also worked for Douglas Corporation. Mm. An Onkin commissioner for, well, we estimate about 20 years, was it? Well, it was about 17 towards 18 years. 17 to 18 yeah. years before yeah. being elected as one of the three Onkin members. Yes. He then went into the transport department with drainage responsibility for the highways. He was an ag and fish for two years, yeah. trade and industry. Yeah. education and children are now in infrastructure. Can I just throw a quote of yours at you from Come earlier on. this year? I feel there's a lot more to do. The second time around, I can really make the difference. You've had five years. What have you been doing? Well, I've passed two bills, actually, uh, private members' bills. One was to do with the reduction in the, the local authority in Oaken, down to their current seven members. And also, to one of the bills, which I, when I was canvassing in 2006, uh, there was a a certain number of people in the area asked me to help them out with a safeguarding bill for children. Is that a lot for five years? I mean, obviously you were a no, commission, uh, commissioner for 16, 17 years. You would have thought you'd hit the ground running and be throwing bills everywhere. Yes, it, it did take me a couple of while bef uh, before I'd uh, call the president, uh, stop calling them uh, chairman. Why was that? Uh, no, what I'm saying, John, is we, we, I've made a difference and, ma and positive contribution to the island's life, the community itself, How? industry. How have you done that? By, by supporting things that have been coming forward, uh, the new Bemahig school, we've had housing in Onken, that was... Uh, yeah, but that was going to happen helpful. anyway, Bemahig. Well, it, it needed, needed to be supported and pushed through. The Bemahig school, you know yourself, the checker career that's had. Yeah, but I think... And uh, the members of the house got behind it, supported the current minister at the time, which was Mrs Crane, and we've delivered it, and it's, it's, uh, it'd be on stream 2012. You also, amongst other things, in the past, you were on the Richmond Hill Consultative Committee, weren't you? Uh, in a previous, yeah, yeah, previous, pre life. previous was that life. before its present shape and form? Uh, it? It's probably lost its uh, way, I would think, and it needs to be restructured like uh, a lot of these um, uh, quangos that uh, government do have. We need to take them out of the box sometimes, shake them a little bit and see if they're fit for purpose. I've spoken to one or two of your constituency um, voters and they've said, well, every time I talk to Mr Quirk, he seems keen on talking about Onkin Football Club. You think it's fair? Uh, well, there's no secret I'm president of the football club, that's in my declaration. I'm very keen on getting it to its move. Yes, uh, and we're still hoping, and shortly we'll have another planning application which will start to run regarding a facility where we can have a home for the But for, are you too occupied with that? No, no. That's, it does take a part, but I do have a social life as well. All pol politicians do. That's one of the uh, people, people that know me and I can know that I'm committed to the community, committed to the island, and committed to supporting the community. What about housing? In a past life, you suggested the government should acquire land in Onken for reasonably priced housing. Is there? Yeah, we did at the Ridgeway Road, yeah. and uh, that was one of the schemes we actually uh, pushed through. Is that enough, though? It's probably not, not enough, but uh, there will be coming forward in 2012 the actual eastern plan, which will cover the, the main conurbations, the likes of uh, Douglas Onken, Braddon, Laxey, Lawn and Manhattan. So that's going to be one of the largest conurbations coming forward. Well, one of the key sites in Onken, as far as sport is concerned, is obviously what we call Onken Stadium, the mm. Nivison Stadium. Yeah. Not a lot has happened there. I was disappointed, really, at the commissioners. And at the end of the day, it's the commissioner's decision to do things. But you've got the clout as an MHK, haven't well, you? Well, uh, we can't order the commissioners to do things. Um, what we can do is, is suggest to the, co the commissioners that something should happen. I was really disappointed that it never became a national stadium for cycling. Uh, is that the end of it then? I mean, you've it got it is as far as the, the way it's been developed now. Uh, th there's a plan which is, is uh, it can't be reversed. Well, in your manifesto, would you be looking to do actually develop that? Because it's a, a great site up there. It is. They, they are developing little things round about, different activities and such. But one of the other issues I want to try and do in the constituent too is, is the block we've got on the coast here. It's some land. Government needs to bite you the bullet and do something now. You suggested government offices there. Well, I, I, I uh, is that practical? It, yes, it is practical. But you uh, wouldn't be able to get there when the big seas are running. No, no, no. If, if anybody knows, uh, Summerland was never, never closed. I think it may have been closed once when water went into the cellar or the number of years it was there. It's, a, it's a fine spot. The government do own it, and we need to do something about it. And you'd see that as a priority in the next five years if it, you're well, elected. It is certainly a priority because we want to make sure. And the only, I think, the only way it can be uh, done at the minute is is government doing it ourselves actually to take raking the cliff face down and starting it recycling what is happening up in Onken? i don't know i mean you're, I, you're keen on recycling yeah i've uh, i've really lost the part with the commissioners on, on recycling is there a gap between you and the commissioners is there enough a, communication a gap oh i i communicate with the commissioners regular it may be on a formal channel which sometimes you have to do uh, have meetings i was disappointed at the beginning of the term of uh, my election 
we were having regular meetings, but we, we seem to have slided away, and that's by probably mutual agreement. Uh, how can you persuade uh, individuals who are not even prepared to listen? Uh, uh, just quickly, the, the, the streets, the pavements in Lower Onken have been criticised. What's happening there? Uh, there is a programme within the department. That's uh, the You're hardest. You're in infrastructure, aren't you? Yeah, yeah but I, I can't influence the, the, the way things are done. I Why not? I can't. Is that uh, not really there? It's, it's, well, no. What I can do is, uh, is bring up the issues regarding uh, items in, in and around Onken. But at the end of the day, when they're, uh, I'm there as a national politician as well as a local politician too. Mr Quirk, thanks for joining us Thank this morning. You. David Quirk standing in the constituency of Onken. It's 8 o'clock.